What's up guys, so uh, today we are going to put back the spinning reel together So we have just taken apart the spinning reel, it's time to put things back together So so uh, between the point where we took it apart and now we are putting back together You, you probably have to do things like degreasing the degreasing the parts, uh, put the oil, put, put the, the grease on it I'll probably do another video on that So the general rule of thumb is for moving parts like bearings, you use oil For the gears, you use grease Okay, that, that is the general rule of thumb and so assuming everything is already done we are ready to put things back together starting from uh, this part all right so uh the first thing that goes in is this uh, gear over here this gear just uh, slot it in and you can see it's like that that's very simple um next part is not so simple this is the confusing part okay so so you look here there's a groove here so basically this groove here it has to fit on this uh, this uh, part that's popping up okay this part that's popping up must fit into that groove nicely so it takes a bit of a uh, trial and error to do it so I'll just slot it in first and then we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes so I'll uh, just slot it in So uh, for, for me, it's just nice. It, it really sits on top of that, that part. Okay, and, and now we're not done yet. We still need to put that uh, metal screw that we took out inside. So uh, to do this, you have to find... Uh, you have to find the hole here. Okay, so there is a hole somewhere here in this part. Slot it in. And this is the tricky part, you have to find the... You have to go through the hole exactly here. So, so try to slot it in all the way. Okay, can you see? You have to find the hole here and slot it in all the way. Okay. So feel free to, to move this uh, metal thing about until, until you reach this point. Okay, now you cannot move. Okay, then you know you're, you're at the right step. Next part is this... Uh, this whole section, this whole gear, it has to go through the hole. Okay, can you see that there's a hole here? Yeah, it has to go through this hole. Just so slot it in. Okay, this part is a bit tricky. Feel free to, to move about. Okay, so, so the trick is like this, push it, push it all the way, yeah, can you see, push it all the way until the hole is exposed, and then you can slot it in, like this. Yeah, slot it in like this. So for those who didn't get it, push it in all the way, such that the hole is exposed, and then you can slot it in. So the, the parts might move around, this, this part is a bit tricky, the parts might move around but, but you have to move it about to, to lock it in place okay. okay, eventually you'll end up with something like this Okay, okay. That was the hardest part. Okay, before we slap on this, um, ensure that the bearing is in place. Uh, some of you, you might want to take out this bearing to, to oil it, by all means do so. And then uh, slap it on.
should hear that, that very nice uh, therapeutic sound. Okay, this is the part where you put on the, the metal frame. So, so if, if you're not sure what I'm doing, uh, refer to below. I, I'm just following the sequence. So the next, the next uh, sequence that I'm putting back is this, this metal thing. And of course, uh, with it comes that small screw. Remember the small screw? The small screw goes uh, directly in. So when you tighten the screws, don't tighten it all the way. Tighten it until it's like maybe 75%. Uh, when it's just nice snug. Because if you tighten it too tightly, it might damage the, the, the parts that are holding onto the screw. Then it's very difficult for you to take it back on. And of course, uh, I mentioned that there were four screws here. Remember the one that I took uh, quite a long time to screw it, screw it out? So now you have to screw it back in. Yeah, I always find a uh, real maintenance is very therapeutic. It's like sweeping the floor or, or doing household chores. It's like uh, sometimes you know the weather isn't too great. It's raining and stuff. And for the colder countries like in US, it might be winter time where the fishing isn't that great. So take, take this time to maintain all your fishing gear, every single part, including the lures. I'll, I'll do another video on that, on, on how to maintain your lures, switch out the hooks. And even the rods, man, you might you might think rods need no maintenance, but you're so wrong. So uh, I, I have two more screws to go. Another way you can do this is instead of uh, watching my video, Film yourself, man. Film yourself taking apart the, the parts so that you know exactly which, which part goes into where and, and how are you supposed to put it back in. And then, uh, last screw, last screw. You're almost there, you're almost there. Okay, we're done here. So, but we're not done yet. Remember this uh, gear? Slot it in. The next thing, the worm gear. So this one's a bit uh, tricky. You got to see, you got to see, there are three holes here, right? One, two, and three. The the screws must align with these three holes, okay? So I'm gonna try my best to do that. If it doesn't align, you will know because the screw doesn't go in no matter how much you screw it in. And then now you gotta screw it on. So this one takes, takes a bit of practice. Yeah, you see, when the screw keeps spinning but it doesn't go in, you know that, that you've made a mistake. So now I have to undo it again. And uh, try a different angle. Let's try... This way.
it's done. So um, next on the list, uh, if you look at the list, next is this, the real handle. And, and the real handle, uh, I don't think I need to show you how to do this. Even the most beginner of beginners would know how to take out uh, and put back a real handle because that is that is probably the first part you learn in fishing how to remove the real handle because for spinning reels uh, you can swap out like let's say you want to go from left-handed to right-handed spinning reel you can just swap out the real handle so there you have it next part is the top section of the reel the bill just, uh, just slap it on Okay. Okay. And then the next thing you've got to do is uh, okay. Yeah, this looks fine. this one the nut screw it on okay uh, tighten it with the wrench okay and then that screw remember that screw uh, don't forget this screw So you probably need a small uh, screwdriver to do it. This section, the plastic bit, just slot it in. Try, try not to force it. Now. Try, try to wiggle it around, but don't force it, because if you force it, some of the shims might break. Okay, then now you have this. So, lastly, uh, this part quite self-explanatory. Okay. Okay, there you have it, the spinning reel assembled again. So I hope you like this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to leave a subscribe and a like. And do share the video to your friends who want to learn how to put back a spinning reel together. Cheers.